Hello everybody, um, so I'm just tinkering with the technology, I'm just uh, making sure that I am live, so we're going to be streaming across two platforms today. Um, I believe we're streaming across Facebook and I believe we're also streaming Hello on Instagram. So we've got two, two outlets here, so I just wanted to talk to you today about star seeds and star seed origins, okay? Um, so lots of you are probably wondering, am I a starseed and what are my soul origins or what's my galactic uh, history? And you know, this is uh, questions that many of us ask on uh, in this lifetime on Earth. So there are a lot of uh, questions around this. There's a lot of people who are perhaps wondering what their history is, what their soul's purpose is, what their mission is here in this lifetime. So, sorry for those of you who are joining, I'm glancing between because we're, we're on Facebook and also on Instagram, so we've got a bit of a studio going on. So if you're just wondering why I'm doing this, I'll just explain to you. So, But yeah, so this is all about soul origin, soul history, soul family, where you're from in the, in the galaxy, what your galactic uh, mission is here on Earth, and how to discover what that is. So, you know... Um, all of you who are joining me here on this live are probably wondering within yourselves what, what's going on. This, this kind of doesn't make sense to me. So I feel like I'm here for a bigger purpose, a bigger picture. I feel like um, I'm here for a bigger reason, but perhaps I don't quite know what that is. And I can speak from experience because there was a, a situation, I've, I'm, I've just turned 40, so for over 40 years I felt like I was here for a bigger purpose, but didn't know what that was. And I'm kind of, um, I'm a prime example really, so in my 40s I've realised what my soul's purpose and my soul's mission is, I realised what my soul memory was and, and it's to do this, it's to share the message with all of, uh, all of you wonderful people and to help uh, people ascend their consciousness and realize their multi-dimensionality but perhaps you're here for a different reason and I just wanted to talk to you about a few things about star seeds and what I've been shown and what my experiences are etc and this is potentially going to help you perhaps unlock your soul's memories etc so there'll be some really good takeaways from this live session so I just wanted to kick off and talk about some common signs and characteristics about star seeds. So there are a few, okay, and probably there's going to be a lot of this stuff which is going to resonate with you and how you feel, um, and you know that's going to be probably a bit of a clue as to perhaps your origins and and whatever else. But uh, you know, there's common signs and characteristics. So there's a lot of stuff out there, and there's a lot of people and there's a lot of text and there's a lot of writings um, on the internet and, and in books etc which is saying that um, if you're from a certain galactic race then you will perhaps look a certain way or you'll have certain character traits so perhaps you know if you're uh, I've there's certain things which have read out there which is oh you know if you're from Pleiades you're going to be into playing piano that's a character trait or you're going to be intellectual or studious um, if you're from Arcturus, physically, perhaps you've got a big forehead. I was told once that I'm definitely not from Arcturus. I am. But I was told but by or somebody online, I'm definitely not from Arcturus because my forehead is too small. So I just wanted to debunk some of these myths. Okay, So it doesn't matter about physical characteristics. It doesn't matter about character traits as such. It's about how you feel inside yourself okay so just remember and if you've got to take notes take notes it's all cool but it's not about physical characteristics it's not about character um, traits it's about how you feel within your heart space so there's going to be within yourself you're going to know and you're going to know where you feel like you're from. So you're going to feel like there's, uh, number one, you're here for a bigger purpose. That's going to be a big clue, okay? So, you know, you will, ob obviously all of us have moved through this lifetime, through the veil of forgetfulness when we come down in this uh, in this lifetime. So all of our perspective and understanding gets wiped when we, when we come down. So this is part of the challenge, and this is why we're, we're kind of here. And as we kind of move in through 
um, either consciously or unconsciously participating in the matrix or what we call the matrix. Either we're conscious about it or we're not conscious about it. For years, I wasn't conscious about it. But you, while you move through this, you're going to have an innate sense of knowing that there's something more, that there's something bigger. You just know this on a, on a very, very deep level level you can't explain it perhaps but you just know you just know within your within your heart space so that's sign number one that you're a star seed or you're here for for a bigger reason or you you've not realized what your soul's mission is so this is a really kind of um, good thing to pay attention to is just a sense of knowing there's perhaps a there's a there's a dissonance or is there's a, there's a disconnect between your current experience here on earth and what you feel um, your soul, family, or, or origin, or what your origin is, you feel a dissonance. It just doesn't make sense to you. There'll be a longing that you um, perhaps need to reunite with your family, etc. So the first time I connected to my uh, last galactic um, family, my I, I'm going to touch on this a little bit later, but, but when I talk about soul family, you can live different galactic lifetimes. What I'm referring to as soul family is just the last galactic experience that you had before you came to Earth, okay? So my last galactic experience was with the Arcturians, and I've been shown my soul's memories, I've been shown my soul's history, and when, when I'm talking about feeling and a sense of knowing, when I first connected into... Um, my galactic family, which were the Arcturians, I felt like I'd reunited with family. I wasn't expecting to feel this emotion when I meditated, um, but I just felt this big gush of emotion in my heart center, like I'd reconnected with my family. I couldn't explain it. It's, from a 3D perspective, it would be like um, we've all sort of got border restrictions and stuff around the world now because of this whole virus thing which is going on. But... Um, just picture the scene, you haven't seen your family in, I don't know, a year, two years or, or whatever, you've missed Christmas and all this and all of a sudden the flights are open and that feeling that you get reunited with your mum and dad and family that you haven't seen for so long or your brother or sister or whatever or, or a partner and it's just that feeling, oh God, you know, give me a hug and that's how I felt when I meditated. So for me that was confirmation, physical confirmation that that was my family and not just this, but basically, when, um, when I felt that emotion, I just knew that I'd reconnected with family. It was like I'd been given a download and an understanding. I just, so this is something that all of us can experience. So this isn't limited to just um, there's a few special chosen ones who are perhaps star seeds and all the rest of it. I'm, I'm telling you now, speaking from experience, if you start to meditate and to press into these different galactic light races which have different energy signatures and frequencies then most likely you're going to come across who you would consider to be your soul family and you can feel this too so this is this isn't um you know i'm i can only speak to you from my experiences when i've meditated and the downloads of information that i i've certainly received but and i know i've, I've read a lot of sort of stuff saying that there was a initially there was 144,000 star seeds which came down you know, I, I just feel it could be more than that. I don't feel it's limited to 144,000 by any means because, you know, when I, the perspective I was given from Arcturus was that there were tons and tons of, of souls that kind of came down. But then people have come from other races as well. So Pleiades, they've come from Sirius, there's, they've come from uh, different ga galaxies around, the, around the, the universe, rather, and in different dimensions. So uh, just because, don't, I, I would say to you, don't, think that, oh, this is, again, limited beliefs, limited, oh, this is limited to somebody else, it's not for me, etc. If you've got a sense of knowing and a feeling that you're perhaps here for something bigger, then you probably are, and, and you need to, this would be my advice to you, is to start pressing into this when it comes to meditation, start pressing into this when um, it comes to looking inwards and elevating your consciousness, and, I, and personally, I can show you how to do this. Um, you know, there's very, very simple, straightforward techniques I can show you how to, to elevate your consciousness and start to discover your soul's history and soul family because they're, they're there, they're out there waiting to work with you. And not just this, but they actively want your consciousness to ascend. So, that, so the second that you're able to meet them halfway, so to speak, from a consciousness perspective, they are, these, are over the, these guys are over the moon, you know, different races, etc. 
and it really is like an, an energetic party when you reunite with with uh, your, your soul family so it's again you'll have a sense of knowing a sense of longing that you want to connect or you feel like you're a part of, of something different there's another really cool um, there's another really cool thing which is the light language now I want to talk to you a bit about light languages now um, you probably know that my wife Ria um, she one of her specialities she's got many by the way she's a very talented lady but one of the specialities that she has is light languages now she's very studious she, she I've never met anybody before but she can speak six different light languages each of the light languages has a different energetic signature so this is an important thing I want to share with you okay so when it comes to understanding a light language you forget what is being said so forget the words that you're hearing they aren't important what's the the important part of the light language is the energy signature behind it and how this energy signature makes you feel okay so I'll repeat I'll repeat that so, so, so you get it don't it's not about the words that you hear because they can sound quite different but each light language has a different energy signature and it's how that energy signature makes you feel okay so how does that make you feel in your heart space in your heart center so this is really important because there's different samples of like language that you can listen to and each of them will have a different energetic signature so if you know that you're listening to a sample of Arcturian or you listen to a sample of Syrian or you listen to a sample of Pleiadian every single one of them will feel different and so I'll give you just a, a quick rundown. So Pleiadian, for instance, these are light beings, what we call guardian angels, made of light. Um, their energy signature is so high frequency, it's just off the charts. It's, it's amazing to experience. The first time you experience it, you feel intoxicated. It's like, wow, I, I wanted to start jumping and dancing around the room. So that's, that's their energy signature. Syrian is very powerful, very ancient, um, been around for like... Uh, like forever these they, you know they've just been around for such a long time very very powerful race of light beings and their energy signature just feels heavy dense calm loving wise very different from Pleiadian whereas Arcturian uh, feels different again so when you're um, hearing the energy signature forget the words okay again forget the words when you when you feel the energy signature behind what's being said some of these languages will start to resonate in your heart. You'll go, and it'll, it'll, it'll evoke an emotion that you wouldn't logically expect to feel. That's a big clue about your origin, perhaps, or your last galactic origin. Because you've got to remember, all of us, um, we originate, our origin, our true origin is source. We are, we've come from source. That's when our soul, our consciousness was created. Okay, That's where we all come from. Uh, aside from our last galactic experience, we've, we've all perhaps had different experiences. Myself and Rhea, um, we both came from Arcturus. That was our last galactic experience. But perhaps you've come from uh, Pleiades with the Pleiadians, or you've come from Sirius, or you've come from, from somewhere else. But you will know inside, on a deep level, what it feels like when you feel this energy signature. So that's, that's a big, big thing. So, light language. A sense of longing, okay, and a sense of knowing within yourself that you're here for something bigger. So these are kind of um, signs and characteristics that you're um, you're basically a star seed, or you're here for something uh, bigger. And again, I'll just recap: it's not about physical appearances. It's not about character traits or characteristics. So. You know, just because you don't play piano or you've got no interest in uh, classical music doesn't mean that you can't be from Pleiades. Just because my forehead isn't huge, probably is looking at this, but it just because it's not like absolutely elongated doesn't mean that I'm not from Arcturus. I know I am. So don't be discouraged by stuff that you're going to potentially read online and you think, oh, well, perhaps that's not me because I'm not doing this. No, 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 don't. You will know in yourself where you're from. Okay, so... Be true to yourself and be true to your heart because you know you're going to know inside yourselves, all right? So, how to recognize? So, 
how to recognize where you're from. So this is the next section I wanted to talk to you about now, okay? And this is gonna be really cool because I'm gonna give you some techniques that you can use to perhaps start to explore where your starseed origins are from, okay? So perhaps you've got an idea that you feel like you're from this, this particular race or you came here for a particular reason, but perhaps you haven't pressed your consciousness into these energies. And I just want to share some techniques with you that are going to help you. You can take away from this session because don't forget these lives are recorded so you can watch them back. There's no problem. All free. It's all cool. And it's, these are all great resources for, for you guys because, again, I'll touch on my soul's mission, my soul's purpose is to sit here and is to help you guys all ascend and is to help humanity ascend. And the people who haven't quite realized their interdimensionality, multidimensionality, I'm here to help. So th these are the resources I want to put out there for you. So these are techniques that I'm going to share with you now that you can utilize in your practices to start to get to know your soul family and to start to understand the reason that you're here and start to unlock your soul's memory. Because we've all got a soul's memory. We've all got a soul, we've all got a consciousness. But You've, we've got to understand that our soul has memories. We've got dormant DNA which sits within our physical body. Um, a lot of stuff is, has been branded by scientists as junk DNA. There's no junk DNA. It's all perfect DNA. It's just, it's just dormant. It's just not been woken up. So a part of our dormant DNA contains the memories of our past lifetimes. Okay, I'm sure we're all aware of this. So what this is going to do is going to help you start to activate parts of this dormant DNA with, it, by, with your consciousness. Because this, this ho whole thing, this humanity is essential. It's all an inside job. It's all inside every single one of us. So we all need to work within ourselves. So what I'm going to do is to share some techniques with you now, okay, about recognizing where you're from and how to connect in. So. If you've never connected into um, the quantum field before, so perhaps um, you've meditated, perhaps you've um, hit some sort of blocks uh, with your practices and you, you feel like um, you know, you're able to quieten your mind down, you've got this sense of you know, longing, urge to kind of connect with different beings, you think, oh, perhaps I'm not from here, this whole... Uh, earth experience doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm here for a bigger purpose. I'm ready to discover what this is. But perhaps you haven't broken past this this barrier which you think you've got um, in relation to connecting into your soul family. I just wanted to share some tips with you around how you can uh, do this. So the first time you connect into um, the quantum field, okay. It's probably gonna. It's just number one. It's black. It's dark. There's and it seems like there's nothing there. Okay, so that's the first thing to remember. Okay, it seems black. It seems dark. It seems like there's nothing there. So first of all, when we experience this for the first time, unless you've got somebody guiding you, explaining to you how you're going to feel when you first connect to the quantum field, you probably your subconscious mind is going to start computing and saying. I'm not experiencing anything. What's going on here? I'm. Um, this is just black. This isn't. This isn't for me. And then all of a sudden, you start to talk yourself out of the experience. I just wanted to explain to you that when you've come to center and when your consciousness goes to that black space and you think it's nothing, it's actually everything. And it's from the point. It's from that that beautiful start point where you set your intention and you move your consciousness then through this black space. That's the next step. And just trust the process. It's a process and it's the same for, for most people, okay? Different people think different ways, but it's the same for most people. You go to this really black, dark space you think is nothing, but that's the start of it. That's the start line of the quantum. So just remember, it's, that's the black, dark start line. And then with the power of intention, you can then move your consciousness through the quantum to connect into anything you want to. So. If you set your, it's important to set your intention, you need to set your intention. You can't go there without an intention. It's like sitting in a car with the engine running and your intention is the gas pedal. So without setting your intention and not pressing the gas pedal, the car's not going to go forward. It's the same thing in the quantum. You need to 
set your intention, which is pressing your foot on the gas pedal, and you'll start to go forwards. That's the best analogy I can I can give you, really. So when you've set your intention, I would I want my intention is to connect into the Arcturians, and then you just move your consciousness forward. It's just by the power of thought. It's as easy as breathing. When you're in there, you can move around at will. You are the universe. You're at one with everything. It's just it, it's it's incredible. So that's number one. Is when you need to start to um, start to move your consciousness during meditation sessions into the quantum and start to connect into different galactic light races. And when you connect into their energy signatures, take a note of how these energy signatures make you feel. Because that's, again, it's gonna, you, you can have an innate knowing of where you're from. So when I retouch on what I said at the beginning of this, when I first connected to the Arcturian energies, I just knew they were family. It was like, I, f I felt, <laughs> I'm going to sh share something with you here. I felt stronger during that meditation than, than, than the feelings than I ever had towards my physical mum and dad here on, on earth in, in this lifetime. It was such a strong set of emotions. So this is what you're going to feel. So you're, this is going to be the number one sign of where you're from. You're going to feel this in your heart space. So your heart space is what you need to listen to. This is the big, big takeaway from this live session, is listen to your heart. Don't listen to what other people are telling you online, or you don't look this way, or this is where you're from. No, you were born in this zodiac sign, you can't be there. There's a lot of people saying a lot of things. I'm telling you that, I'm speaking from experience, this is all about your heart and how this makes you feel, and what your heart recognizes from an energy perspective. So connect into these different um, races of light beings, connect into the different energies of these, and just see how these make you feel. Okay, so this is this is this is going to tell you exactly what your um, origins are. Um, when you connect into these different races of beings, okay, you can with the power of your intention, remember the gas pedal. With the power of intention, you can set the intention that you want to know what your soul's history and what your soul mission and what your soul origin was or is rather. Okay, during these sessions with these light beings. You can not only connect with them and work with them, but you receive downloads of these informations. We've all heard this term, downloads of information. First time I heard this, I was like, download of information? I'm not some computer. How is this kind of going to work? This is going way back before I started m my practices. But actually, that's what it's like. It's the best way to describe it. So it's the only way I can think of describing it is like a download of information. All of a sudden you go from a place where you're asking the question because you want to know the answer to all of a sudden, bang, oh, okay, I know. And it's not just I now understand, but I know on a deep level that this is what it is. So it is like a download of information. You can request these during these galactic sessions that you have with different races. So what will happen is you will then be doing these sessions, you'll start to unlock your soul's memory and you start to realize why you've been incarnated here on earth okay so again I'll just recap one of the things I said there's a lot of text that I've read and there's a lot of information out there saying that there was originally 144,000 star seeds which came down I personally from my perspective of being in the quantum I feel like there could be more than this um, but all of us who are believing that we're here for something bigger we're here for a bigger purpose. We came here for a reason. So, um, you know, I came from Arcturus. You might have come from Sirius. You might have come from Pleiades. Somebody else might have come from somewhere else. But we're all here now in this experience. And we're here for a reason. You know, this is, we've just, the planet's just moved into the age of Aquarius. So it's become a much more spiritual place from an energetic and a frequency perspective. So it's a, a really exciting time to be alive. You know, there's, I can, you know, I've gone to the barbers to get my hair cut, and I'm talking to the barber. It's just a, a normal guy. He's into his football and his sports and stuff, and he's talking about um, meditation, and he's talking about multidimensionality and different frequency. I've got somebody else that I know who's a good friend, works in a, he's a manager for a car plant, and just a, just a, just a, a solid physical guy who's just into his sports and, and uh, just what you class, class as a normal guy. He's suddenly talking about um, meditation. He's suddenly talking about spirituality. So people that 
perhaps wouldn't have considered this before are starting to question what's going on and it's all about around this frequency shift which is going on so we're this is a special special time for us to be here we all chose to be here at this very moment so whether we remember this or not just know that this is special and you know it's a privilege to be here and i'm fulfilling my soul's mission in doing this and, and sharing the message and helping all of you guys you might be here for something different but Whatever the path, we're all heading to the same destination, which is ascension. That's basically what it is. And, you know, one thing I want to share with you is that, um, and this was from one of the channeled messages I did with the Arcturians, and they sensed that uh, there was a sense of disappointment around the solstice, okay? So I just want to share something quickly. We're not I'm not di digressing from starseeds. We're going we're gonna to crack on, but it's a very, very short thing I want to share with you. When it comes to when it came to the solstice, and we talk we talk about humanity's ascension. Okay, when we ascend, what I've been shown, we're not suddenly physically going to be transported to a different place, a different planet, etc. Life, birth, life, and death will or passing will continue here on Earth. But what's going to happen is humanity's consciousness, from a frequency perspective, is going to shift. So you've, we've, you've got to remember that each dimension that we talk about, when we talk about third dimension, um, fourth dimension, fifth dimension, six, all the way up to 12, perhaps to 16, different theories, etc. These aren't higher and lower. These are just different frequency bands of the space that we're sitting in right now during this session. So all it is, is when we, when we realize our multidimensionality, it just means that our consciousness shifts frequency into another frequency band. It's the same space around here. Don't suddenly going to go off to a different part of the galaxy or the universe. So when humanity's consciousness is going to ascend, this is the process that we're all going through now, we're all here to help in that, what's going to happen is our, our frequency of our consciousness is just going to shift into to, to a different band. But our physical vessels are still going to be on this planet or still on earth it's just we're going to move our consciousness into a different frequency so you know i would just say that um you know when it comes to uh, recognizing your star seeds recognizing your star seed origin meditation 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 press into your uh, press into your galactic guides using the techniques that i've explained to you in this session um, again, this session is free, it's been streamed, it's there recorded, you can watch it back whenever you want to watch it back, and just use the techniques that I've explained. Um, and, you know, just when you, uh, when you, talk, when you, you think about your purpose and why you're here, when you realize why you've come, why you've chose to come to, to, to Earth during this time, and you start to then walk into what I call a divine alignment, you're actually aligned with the purpose of what, why you came here. This unlocks such deep levels of happiness and fulfillment on such a deep level. I can't even tell you. So for over 40 years, I was um, very, very 3D, very, very physical. You probably know my backstory. I'm not going to go into it, but um, a very, very physical outlook here on Earth. I then realized my multidimensionality, started to connect into my guides, etc. I then realized what I'm here to do, which is basically share the message and this. And I've now stepped into divine alignment. This is why I've come. And all of a sudden, my soul on a cellular level just feels fulfilled. And I just feel happiness, deep sense of happiness that I've never felt before on, in over 40 years being, a, being alive on this planet. So once you've realized what yours is, then you are going to unlock deep, deep levels of happiness within yourselves. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. So I can't recommend it enough. Use the techniques, use the tips that I've, I've, I've given you, and just unlock deep levels of happiness. And, and let all, all of us, all star seeds, everybody else, let's all make a difference here, here on Earth. So what I'm going to do now, okay, and there's a few questions which have come in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, just like I promised when I did the thing, I'm going to start asking you, sorry, start answering some of your questions. And what I'll do, I'll also go through the feed as well. So if you've got any questions that have come in, and what I'm going to do is, so Ria's assisting out, outside, but uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'll go through all of the, the comments and I'll answer as many questions as, as I can for you, okay? 
So I'll start with some of the questions which came in by email. Okay, so let's have a look here. So long ago, this is from somebody called Frankie M. So long ago, uh, uh, long ago, contacted by a Syrian starship, second in command, who gave uh, who gave his name to contact if needed. It wants to know. Uh, if he had a connection prior to this contact. So I would say that if you were contacted, hi Frank if you're watching, um, if you were contacted by um, by somebody who was second in command on a Syrian ship, okay, you've been contacted for a reason. So they don't, uh, they don't come um, just to anybody. I've never physically had a Syrian ship come down to me. I've, I've seen Syrians sort of press into my consciousness and I've seen them close up. I've never um, I've never seen physically with my eyes these these eyeballs. I've never seen a, a, a Syrian ship. I have with my consciousness. But you know if they've come to you there must must be a reason they've come to you. And what, what I would say is that perhaps just take a note of how you felt about that experience. So how did you feel at the time? How do you feel about it now? Do you look back with a sense of longing that you want to know. I guess you do because you've sent in the question. Um, what I would recommend to you, Frankie, is use the techniques which I've explained just a little bit about during this session. Press into this with your consciousness and just go and ask them because you can connect into Syrian energies quite easily. It's quite a powerful energy to connect into. It's really nice. They're here to help humanity. It's quite safe to connect into them. Um, but just go and ask them the question because they will give you those answers. My inkling, my intuition, my spidey sense is, is telling me that they contacted you for a reason. They don't just come to random people. It's, um, you know, it's, it, they, there would be a reason why they've come to, to um, connect with you. So my intuition is telling me that poss possibly yes, but double check that, connect into their energies and just ask them a question. They'll be happy to, to share the answer with you. Uh, okay. So here we go, Bella Donna. We've got. Uh, when we leave these bodies, do we go back to the last star family, or do we go back to uh, or a different soul family? So again, there's different trains of thoughts. I I'll give you my perspective on on when I've gone up. I've been given sort of bigger perspective on on what's going on. I would say that my impression and understanding that I've been given is that um, we originate at source and we then go through different galactic experiences. So my last galactic experience was with the Arcturians. Yours might be slightly different. I, I've, read the, I've read theory around um, once you incarnate here onto Earth, that your soul keeps learning lessons and just keeps getting reincarnated on Earth and until it's finished its lessons here, and then uh, basically it then goes up to okay, Ria, thank you very much. But then uh, basically, then it will go. Then your soul will ascend to a different dimension, etc. That's not my understanding or my experience of it. So my last experience was um, on Arcturus, and then um, I obviously came down here and after this I get the feeling I'll be going somewhere else. I know that Rhea's first, because I did a past life sort of regression, I accessed her Akashic records with consent. I didn't impose that. This was a session so she she asked to, to know this as it was a consent. So I accessed her Akashic records and went in and Rhea's first experience was within the Akashic records. That's why she's so organized now within uh, sort of this reality and Everything's, you know, extremely organized. That's just how, how she is on, on a deep level. And then she's gone around different galactic uh, races. So my experience is, is that our souls kind of do this all around the place and we just learn the lessons that we need to learn. So I would say that, um, you know, you can set an intention. So if you wanted to connect in or you perhaps you wanted to reincarnate into a different experience, then you could. Um, but again, uh, my, my understanding is, and my perspective that I've been given, is that um, you're not just stuck here on Earth, that you kind of fluctuate, your soul fluctuates, and it just goes around learning it. Let's have a look here. I'll go through some of the comments, and I'll see whether... Oh, there's a lot of them. Hang on. 
Okay, okay, okay. Greetings, hello, hello, hello. Um, I felt drawn. Hi, Nicole. Um, I felt drawn galactically for a long time. I feel like I'm naturally wanting to help uh, from outside sources. I'd like to know my origins. So, yeah, if you want to um, perhaps, like I say, just feel how these energies make you feel. So, you know, I would recommend to you start to listen to some light language and just see and just understand where that light language comes from, first of all. Start to recognize the energy and see how that makes you feel. That's going to be your first clue. And then when you start to elevate your consciousness, you can then press into that race and start to develop relationships with them. Because you've got to understand that just because we haven't ascended our consciousness and we haven't gone in to connect with um, our soul family, they're there waiting for us. So, you know, when I connected into my Arcturian brother for the first time, uh, one of the things he consciously, energetically said to my consciousness was, where the hell have you been? So he'd been waiting for me to come into that space for a long time. And it was just like, God, where have you been? And so these, these people, these, these races, they're waiting for you. All you've got to do is just recognize who it is and, and make a move constantly. And they're waiting. So, uh, so look. I feel it's in my soul. Yeah, Kelly, I know. Yeah, Rhea, Rhea it, 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 she is amazing. I know, I know. I'm very lucky that we're, we're married. Love her very much. She's very, very talented. Uh, can you share an exercise? Sorry, I'm going back to the, the start of the thing. Yeah, so the exercises, for instance, like I was saying, was um, you just need to, um, first of all, quiet your mind down, but just when you go to that black space and you think it's black and nothing when you meditate, and that's actually when you've gone to what's called Hara, which is the center, your center, You've quietened your mind down and you, your, your mind and consciousness is ready to move through the quantum. You just, rather than get discouraged and think, oh, there's nothing here. This is why working with a mentor, this is why working with a spiritual mentor makes sense if you're coming up against these blocks because it's a bit of hand-holding that can talk you through these experiences and that's when you get breakthroughs. So we held um, a workshop sort of like over a month ago now called Quantum Deep Dive for those who's not, who, who aren't um, familiar with it. But it's a three-day, really, really deep, intensive quantum experiences. And during the live sessions and the exercises that we were doing during this uh, workshop, there were people just having these crazy breakthroughs. And this is just literally from being shown the process of getting into the quantum and to connect into energy. So there's people who were calling it life-changing experience, etc. And it's just one of those things that sometimes you just need somebody to explain, look, this is what you're seeing now do this and then that's the shift that you take so from that blackness when you get to the center you just need to move with the power of your intention and the intention is your gas pedal so remember the gas pedal analogy okay so your car's not going to go unless you your car won't go anywhere if you don't press the gas pedal and, and your intention is the gas pedal so if without your intention you can't move through the quantum so you need to have you need to press your gas pedal for the car okay that's one of the one of the, one of the big things uh Love and light, love and light to you too, RC, RC. Uh, let's go through. Any other questions, chuck them in the chat, guys. I'm, I'm here for a bit, so. Uh, do we meditate and ask what race and then choose random roles? No, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say you choose random. So do you remember I said to you, listen to, uh, listen to some light language extracts, yeah? So you need to have a rough idea of where you're from before you set your intention, because otherwise, if... If you don't have a rough idea of the destination, it's like randomly driving around in a car and just hoping to find the correct address or the correct street. You need to have an idea where you're going before you go on your journey. So from a heart-centered perspective, start to listen to some light language. Okay, so Rhea is very, very gifted. She can speak six. I've never come across this in my, in my life. It blows my mind, really. I, I can I just about speak Arcturian, okay? Um, I've never been sort of linguistically talented in, in that way, but I can speak a bit of Arcturian. There's nice energy behind it. Rhea can speak six. It blows my mind, okay? But so perhaps drop Rhea a message and Rhea can perhaps send you some samples of different races of light language and just start to listen to it. And how does it make you feel? And if you feel, oh my goodness, Syrian, oh wow, that just totally resonated with my heart center, then look there first. That's the first place to go. Listen to this, it never, ever, ever leads you astray. It never lies to you. 
never mislead you. So just listen to what your heart is saying and just go there first. That would be my, my recommendation to you. So don't go in randomly, just go in after, after hearing some light language. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Nadine. Thanks for sharing the story, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, do you have any, any private sessions to help unlock our star seed if we can't figure out? So I'm currently uh, I'm considering doing um, some one-to-one -one sessions. Um, um, these will be uh, potentially bookable on my website. Um, they're not live yet, but this is just something I'm thinking about doing. If it's something that interests you, just drop me a message. Failing that, we do some group sessions. Um, again, I've explained about sort of, we did a quantum deep dive, which was sort of a couple of months ago. People just had breakthrough after breakthrough. It was incredible. Uh, really, really great experience. We had a fantastic group uh, in that session. So pe people really love that. So we do some group sessions. We do online trainings. We do all kinds of stuff. So just keep an eye out. But if you're interested in, in, a, in a private session, drop me, um, drop me a message privately and we, we can sort something out, I'm sure. Um, let's have a look. Oh, you guys are awesome. Anyway, I know, like I say, it's... Uh, it's, I love these live sessions. They're really, really great. Can you help me? I'm sure I can, Kelly, or uh, Kaylee, if, uh, if I pronounce that correctly. I'm sure I can help you. There's no problem. Nobody is beyond help. Everybody can be helped in, in different ways. You just need a bit of hand-holding and, and just showing what to do. And then typically once people are kind of up on their feet and they understand where they're going, they're just away and bang, they're gone. So, you know, during... The quantum deep dive again there were people literally who were just messaging in on the chat going oh my god i can now shift through the quantum i can now connect in they started recognizing different energies etc and these guys were just away bang they were gone so it's just a case of sometimes just a little bit of, of help up this is how you go and you're away you're off so um do you know what to uh so look uh, thank you for such oh, it's a pleasure Rose uh, thank you for all you share uh, where are okay Jani Janiana sorry my eye my, I need my glasses on sorry I, I, uh, it says where are the light languages am I able to recognize the authentic ones even if I've never heard of them until now so I this is this is a great question thanks for asking it um, so Rhea um, can send you samples. So drop Rhea a message on Facebook. If you if you're not connected to her, she's obviously my wife, so you can you can find her on on my account. Drop her a message and just say, would you mind uh, just sending through some light language samples? And Rhea can send you through some samples of this and tell you what it is. So she can tell you Arcturian, she can tell you Pleiadian, Syrian. Sound very different, very very different energy signals. Have a listen to this stuff and see what makes you feel. Um, Rhea can also speak uh, Lemurian and Atlantean and a couple of others as well. It's crazy, just really, really talented when it comes to, to light languages. And I would say just have a listen to, to this and just see how each one makes you feel. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to tell you on this session which one you are. I could, uh, on a one-to-one -one session, for instance, with consent, I can't do this without consent because this, again, spiritual integrity, you can't impose yourself energetically on anyone. It's got to be done by consent. So if there was a one-to-one -one session, for instance, I could tap in with a consent, I could tap into your uh, energetic signature and access your Akashic records and tell you what your previous lifetimes and what your soul's history is, is and stuff. But if, you know, you just want to start discovering this stuff yourself, which you can, this is a free resource for you, for you guys, then start to listen to the light language, Rhea can send you some samples, see how it makes you feel. And this is, again... Don't listen to your head, listen to your heart. Don't listen to what other people tell you, listen to how your heart makes you feel, okay? Um, and then just kind of go from there. Uh, da, 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 da. Someone's a light language. Uh, here we go, Mario. Hi, Mario. Uh, thank you, Ria. I feel like uh, Atlantean at first sense and then I spoke the light language when I was a kid. Oh, wow. I lost touch for a long time. Um, and then even when, uh, even when I hear it now, my, I, my body gets goosebumps and emotional. There you go. There you go. So that again, goosebumps, emotion, heart, it, it, this is it. So that's where you need to press in. This is probably, this is going to be my feeling is that that's your origin. Um, again, you can't, you can't sort of, you can't fake an emotion. It just, it just is. You just feel it. Your heart just kind of feels this energy signature and it just resonates. And... 
this is this is the big clue. This is what this is where you need to start looking. One hundred percent. If you're getting goosebumps and you're feeling emotional, etc., that is the place to look. <coughs> Figure out a channel like language. I have no idea what it means still. Um, okay, so this is um, this is really interesting. That's a very very good question. So can you? I'll, I'll read between the lines. Can you can you translate like language? So the the short answer to this is yes, you can. Okay, you can translate it, but you need to be in the quantum. You need to connect into the quantum and open up your consciousness and almost channel this energy which is being said. So remember what I was saying to you. It's not about um, the words which are being said. So you don't listen to the words and try and decipher them like you would do if you were speaking a language here on earth. You need to kind of consciously open up to the energy which is behind the words and then start to allow that to flow. But yes, you can uh, translate. I can translate some of Ria's, not all of it, because it, it comes in bursts, but you can translate some of it. Uh, indeed, I did love and shared. Okay, so, th you know, I just wanted to just... Briefly, I've got. Do you know? Do you know how we how how we love giving you guys bonuses? So, when it comes to uh, let's have a look here. There we are. Awesome. So, yeah. So I've got some bonuses for uh, everybody who's sort of joined us on this live. I love uh, I love giving away value. I love giving away bonuses. So this is uh, this is a thank you to all of you. It's got some. Some goodies, some giveaways going on here, which is which is brilliant. Okay, so um, a couple of free surprises for you. So for those of you who aren't aware, we've got I've got a free free yeah online training, which is going to be happening on Monday Australia time. So I'm in Australia. Pardon me for those of you who don't know. So this is going to be happening on Monday. If you're watching from the states or you're re-watching this. Pardon me, this live from the United States. This is going to be on Sunday afternoon or early Sunday evening, depending on what coast you're going to be on. For those of you over in Australia or around the Asia region or perhaps New Zealand, uh, this is going to be on the Monday. Okay, so I'm going to be holding a free online training for you on uh, Monday. And I'm, we've covered a bit in this session about sort of starseed, starseed origins, etc. Uh, but this, I'm going to deep dive on this free online training, okay? So this is going to be about activating your soul's mission and what it is, um, how to reclaim your memories and your gifts, because we all want to do that, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to exactly uh, activate your soul's memories. And at the end of the session, there's also going to be an activation. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna download. I'm gonna transmit a powerful, potent activation for you live during the, the session, and this is about divine alignment. So what this is uh, what this is uh, going to do? Okay, this is going to help you step into uh, divine alignment. This is going to help you step into your soul's purpose, and this is going to help help you start to realize what this is. Powerful activation. Free, I'm going to transmit this at the end of the session. So if you're interested in this, which is free and happening on Monday, just comment soul, S-O-U-L, comment soul in the comments, and my team will send you the sign-up link. Again, it's free, it's happening on Monday. Um, so comment soul, and if you're watching this or you're watching this live now, and my team will send you the link. You can just sign up really, really easy, and you'll be sent the, the details on how to join. Um, there's another one, second surprise and second gift I've done for you. I just uh, recorded yesterday a um, really powerful activation, which is free. I'm going to give to you guys. Um, this is going to be, it's a connect to your soul family activation. And what this does, it is really powerful. Downloaded it from my Arcturian guides. I've transmitted it. The energy is, is held within the recording. What this is going to do is it's going to upgrade your energy field is going to upgrade your frequency and it's going to send a signal out into the universe, out into the ether from yourself that says, I'm ready. And this is going to encourage your galactic family, your galactic uh, soul family to come and press into you and make it easy for you to connect into them. OK, so this is going to send a signal out saying that I'm ready. Really, really powerful uh, activation. Again, this is free. If you're interested in, in receiving this, all you've got to do is comment activation. So if you want the free online training, which is coming up on Monday, comment soul. 
If you want the activation, just comment activation. Or if you want both, just comment activation and soul, or soul and activation. You can have both, you're not limited. You can, you can have one or the other, or you can have both. But that's all you need to do is just comment either soul for the online free training, which is happening Monday, or comment activation for uh, to be able to download this, uh, this powerful activation, which is all gonna help you. Really, really thank you so much for uh, joining me on the live session today. I've really, really enjoyed being here with you today. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day, whatever you're up to, full of love, full of light, um, full of blessings. And from me to you, thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. And for those who are coming to the live session on Monday, have a great weekend, great rest of the week, and I'll see you on Monday for a great live session of training. Take care. Uh-uh. <clears throat>